so good morning everyone hello 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 we're on the road today we're gonna take the local transit and show you how that works so we're gonna go to liberia from playa del coco Plaza where we are it's about an hour it's maybe 10 minutes yeah. with stops stops and in between so we're gonna show you all of that so i'll show you how it's like to ride local transit and liberia is the main town city in here it's a hustly bustly city so uh, get ready put your walking shoes on and we're definitely gonna stop for coffee come with us and enjoy costa rica through the eyes of a couple of snowbirds, we'll share what we know, what we've experienced, recall the first time we ventured down here, what to see and what to watch out for. Mostly good, sometimes concerning. Come walk with us, enjoy an iced coffee, sit back right. and relax. We're going to the bus. This is the, the, bus this is the marker, this bakery here in town. There's a seafood place. And this is the bus shelter and the bus here usually goes to uh, Liberia or Philadelphia and there's a whole bunch of towns in between um, yeah so it looks like it's pretty empty which means uh, the bus just took off so in about a half hour another bus will be coming through people will grab here the bus because this bus to Liberia goes right by the airport so it's a cheap way to get to the airport but it's a bit of a walk from the main road right to the terminal. Another viewpoint, you'll see there's the, the bus shelter. I'm in a little plaza. Across the street you have the Remax and Professional Legal and the gym. And again, that pastry place or um, uh, I guess uh, bakery is right here. Uh, Frank's gone in because he needs some change for the bus driver. Uh, they do make change on the bus, but uh, just in case they've changed the rules, there's the bakery. So they have soft drinks and lots of sweets and stuff. We're waiting for the bus. There's the bus arriving into town, you'll see right there. How much was the fare? 1,750 colognes. So, so uh, that would be... I'll put it on the screen, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> busy here so you're gonna have to keep up with us <laughs> we are at the uh, intersection where the there's an overpass that uh, you can take that takes you on their main highway I think their main highway is number one which is the highway Central America it goes so right through all of Central America so to the right we'll take it to San Jose which is the capital of Costa Rica and to the left we'll take it to the country of Nicaragua Burger King, of course, the Golden Arches of McDonald's, Taco Bell on the other side, a lot of lights, but we're going to do like the, the natives do and cross jaywalk. Oh, there we go. It did turn. Strike that it meant locals, not natives. <laughs> natives, locals, natives, well, the native people, the locals, it's all the same, I think, to me. idea of what a neighborhood in the city looks like and how the residential homes are. You can see they're all locked up. Well, the horses found a little bit of shade. Aw, hi. 
Hi. They love their horses here. In a place called Piquindo Mundo. It's like a warehouse store and it has food and household goods and hardware. Thought we'd come here and show you what this is all about. So here their summer vacation for the kids is Christmas time. That's their big break that they have. And the kids are all going into a new grade and uh, they're growing and all their uniforms they're selling here as well. Prices here are considered very good. Kind of a discount sort of store. Here, a lot of things that look like IKEA products, stuff like that. And there we go. That's the way it is in Costa Rica. We're now in a shop called Econo, which is, we're here for the air conditioning, just taking a look at prices, but they have some nice things here. Menswear, ladies wear, they have homeware upstairs, shoes, luggage. Our pillows at our accommodations are kind of mm, not that great. So they've got here two pillows for almost 7,000 colonies which would be about 14 maybe 15 dollars canadian for two pillows in size and they are shrink wrapped so they might fit into our backpack as well until we get back so that is all good what do you think you want it very good decision this econo store is kind of cute it's got a lot of little things for your home for people that are setting up their home and even if you come here Sometimes you can get rentals uh, here if you do a six month or a, a one year lease and you get an extremely cheap rate uh, per month. I mean, overall it's probably gonna cost you more, but you, wanna, you want your little household things and so forth, you can do that. The town square has been cordoned off. They're renovating the whole thing. It was a beautiful town square with a beautiful white church at the end and a beautiful gazebo and it looks like they're tearing it all apart and I would imagine it's going to be even better once it's done. Take a look at what they are doing in here and what they've managed to do. It was a beautiful town square and it looks like they're going to be improving it quite a bit. See that beautiful church? Let's go over and take a look at it. Look how blue that sky is. Location of the town square, how pretty it is, right in the center of town. Well, it will look nice once it's all done. That's the public library there. So this is a popular store that people come to here, a little department store. Milkshake, something to cool us down because it is very hot. It's been a long day so far and it's uh, getting pooped. And then we yeah. still got the bus ride back, which yeah. is about an hour's bus ride. Exactly, and because uh, we're not seaside, we're actually inland, it's actually hotter. It's, it's hotter because you have the pavement, you have the uh, yeah, larger population, stores, more people. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. a it's a busy a lot town. Hot, hotter than being in Coco. Yeah, no, yeah. that's for sure. But this was kind of interesting. We'll mm -hmm. enjoy our drink and then we'll end up at the uh, bus terminal. And um, we, in a few weeks, so maybe in about three weeks or so, we're going to go to Hako. Yeah. So we have to figure that figure out. out that so how it maybe, works. maybe somebody there can help us figure that out. We've been told it's about three hours uh, from where we
where we are presently. We're gonna go visit friends, spend a couple of nights with them, and um, so gonna have to figure that out. Yeah. Well, we're having a cappuccino, cappuccino milkshake. milkshake here at Yummy Sweet. Anyways, it looks really good, mm -hmm. complete with a little bit of a cookie in there as well. So Frank and I have quickly observed that if you think you have the right of way as a pedestrian, think twice because you don't. Um, people driving definitely have the right of way because they'll run you right over if Stop they don't sign. see you. Stop sign means roll. <laughs> Keep rolling. Yeah. Stop sign means roll. So I wanted to give you a better idea of what the bus station looks like. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna walk in. Frank's already in there. He's gone to go get some tickets. So there's uh, quite a lot going on. There's snacks here. Lots of people waiting for their next bus or gathering with other people until they get their group of people going. Here's Frank. There's the next bus, which we're gonna take. But we have to wait till three o'clock. So when you want to buy your tickets, you go to the Belleteria, Belleteria, which is where you get your tickets. And you tell them where you want to go and, you, and what time. And you see everybody here is waiting. There are washrooms here. And you can, if you have packages that were delivered here on the bus, there you can pick up your packages or luggage there. the A1 platform. <laughs> right here. Well, that was an exhausting day in Liberia last night. Wow, Frank and I were exhausted. Uh, we went to bed early and we slept in a little bit. But here we are doing our morning walk on Playa del Coco. And um, here's Frank. Hello, good morning. <laughs> so it has been, uh, there is a Facebook group called uh, Coco Chit Chat. Um, that some people have commented there's a, a little breakfast place that was just north of town um, that was highly recommended and we had gone to and really liked called uh, what was it called uh, no the um, uh, no <laughs> M&M Hotel <laughs> no <laughs> that's how much You're this not... one knows that's how much <laughs> this one knows not helping me at all pato loco <laughs> oh pato loco that's stay it. with me that's stay it. with me crazy duck yeah the crazy duck pato loco and it was it was here for years it was run by an american lady and she yeah. finally retired and closed up shop and she's enjoying retirement now yeah. so uh, we lost that go-to place which was rather tasty and, and yeah. interesting especially for their air eggs benny right and where it was going with this is on, on coco chit chat um they had commented so now to where do we go for a really good breakfast an m m hotel uh, was highly recommended so we're gonna try it's just that off now. the beach here so uh, we're gonna see the environment and bring that to you and see if the yeah. breakfast is any good come, on. come along all right here is our walk on the beach and <laughs> if you watched um, last week's video this is where the garbage was so it's early morning <laughs> It's, it's new garbage. It's new garbage. It's not, it's new garbage. It's not garbage. the same garbage. Every day they pick up garbage. Um, but anyways, you can see they try very hard to keep this beach clean. And uh, we're just coming from, I think this beach is north. So if that's north, if that's north, that would be south. Hmm. That's north. That would be south. South. So I'm trying to figure out where we are. Uh, so on the east side um, of Coco, it's a little bit more like a um, residential sort of North American style community. On the west side, uh, 
uh, it's more locals and fisheries and people working and traffic is very heavy and that's where our hotel is is on the side of where all the locals live but either way this bay is huge and so each community and then the center of the of the bay is where the downtown is so this is where we are and this is m m we're gonna go in and let's see if they uh so there's their phone number in case you want to uh, stay here it's a hotel style ho uh, hostel type place and this is what it looks like oh sun a good shot with the sun there so apparently we order our breakfast here and then we they'll come and find us and give us uh, our breakfast you can see this is right here in the lobby how close you are to the beach and uh, they have some seating here for you to enjoy your breakfast there's coffee here. Um, I'm just going to show you the facilities. This is a small place, so I'm going to give you an idea of what M&M is like. Just by the reception. They have a little bit of a garden. So you can sit out here in a little bit of parking. But you can see how close it is to the beach. There is the beach. Main floor, so just to give you an idea of what this is like. So I guess they rent paddle paddle boats, and they have uh, hammocks here for people to enjoy. So it's a very relaxed, kind of a bohemian feel. Give you an idea of these upstairs. I can't get over the wood here. It is such good quality wood. Wow. So it's got a hacienda sort of uh, feel to it, a little courtyard, uh, and then the individual rooms like this. So it's pretty basic, but sometimes that's all you need. Especially if you're moving around Costa Rica and you're just here for three days or two days. But isn't this nice? So they have this veranda. Look at it people to use. Nice view. There's a lot of places like this in um, Costa Rica. Uh, we are planning a trip right now to um, La Fortuna and um, there was a lot of places on uh, I think it was Hotels.com that I was looking at, and there's a lot of places like this. This is the uh, seating Frank chose, so we'll wait for our breakfast. Oh, let's sit down. So Frank in Portuguese is talking to me, and he's saying, 7,500 uh, colonies. Uh, we uh, sorry. We so, sometimes do that. We don't want to speak English. We don't want to speak Spanish. Not that our Spanish is very and good. And we definitely don't speak French. <laughs> and we don't speak French. So uh, we try. We try. And uh, so sometimes we we want to communicate. We don't want people to really understand what we're saying. We'll talk in Portuguese. <laughs> but uh, anybody who's Spanish can figure that out as well because the languages are very very uh, similar. It's a nice view from up here. Beautiful view. I like this place. Special order. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. Gracias. Okay. <laughs> Need some cutlery. Very nice. And neither Frank and I like papaya. So we asked the fruit with no papaya, please. So there's the toast. And we wanted easy over, but they gave us sunny side up. As long as the whites are firm, I'm good. I love runny yolks. That's it. Good? Good. Very good. Can't go wrong with eggs. So I've added a little clip on here of um, what the going rate is here. And I think it's about 70 Canadian dollars. Um, 
172 $75 Canadian dollars. Uh, the rooms uh, do have bathrooms and a shower, um, and it's a very simple uh, location. But Frank and I are having this breakfast and sitting here and really enjoying the views and the laid back feel. Pretty nice, pretty sweet. Frank has a very big apology to make to... To Marco here, the uh, owner of Big Fingers. Uh, we'll here in Costa Rica. It, it's Big Fingers, not Five Fingers, as I did in my last video. So, my apologies. My apologies, Marco. Yeah. And Marco also wants to do a, uh, a shout out and say hi to some... Somebody. How is Javi doing? I hope everything is good back home. Very All good. All the snow. Yeah. Please hear hot cocoa. That's very good. So a special shout out to Abby and uh, Russ and Bruce. Bruce yeah. <laughs> so not to forget big fingers here in Costa Rica. Not five fingers, not five big, fingers. big fingers. <laughs> Pura vida. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is just the beginning of our three month stay in Costa Rica. Catch us next Sunday to see how this venture continues. In the meantime, check out our socials, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube shorts for daily tidbits. But don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Till next time, Pura Vida! Pura Vida.